The name of William Saunders has been affixed to one of Carolina's most prominent buildings for nearly a century, but it's also been associated with controversy. So before a packed meeting room, university trustees discussed whether the Saunders name should stay. We're looking at multiple points of view. We want this to be civil and respectful, but while seeking consensus where possible. Trustees heard from a dozen speakers with wide ranging backgrounds. If we choose to keep Saunders Hall as a marker of UNC's character, we will find ourselves ultimately on the wrong side of history. Saunders was a UNC student and a Confederate colonel, but also, historians say, a reputed leader of the Ku Klux Klan. For that reason, dozens of students, faculty, and alumni want his name off the building where they've studied and taught. Saunders was not simply a man who held prominent racist beliefs of the time period. He was a man who took those beliefs and transit, translated them into horrible actions. While there was no disagreement about the legacy Saunders has left behind, the opinions about how to move forward are mixed. To some speakers, leaving the Saunders name in place sends the strongest message, well, you know, showing what the university is. has overcome. So my argument is not to remove the name of William Saunders, but to turn the building name for him into a site of provocation. A provocation to remember the ugliness and not just the excellence in Carolina's history. Trustees have spent months gathering history and opinions about Saunders and the building named for him. They now want members of the public to share their points of view, not just on Saunders Hall, but on how Carolina can better present the role of history and race across campus. Our strategy in this discussion is to develop a comprehensive solution. The, the names of buildings are just one part of that puzzle. Chancellor Carol Folt said the issue has helped start a renewed dialogue on campus about how Carolina can make all who study and visit feel welcome. She's proud of the deliberative process that's taken place so far. This is what Carolina is about, and I think the idea that when we say we're going to do something, this board is demonstrating that it really does mean that. We're trying in every venue, even when they're difficult right now, to truly follow through. The board did not take action on the Saunders Hall renaming, but expects to revisit the issue soon. Music from the string quartet Brooklyn Rider filled the meeting room the next day as trustees wrapped up their proceedings with a presentation about Carolina Performing Arts. We have raised in total giving nearly $20 million. We have generated over $13 million in ticket revenue. We have sold over half a million tickets with one third of them going to UNC students. From the very beginning, our long view has always been to align our program with the core academic mission of this university. Many CPA performers like Brooklyn Ryder spend time in class working with students and faculty during their visits to Chapel Hill, in addition to their work on stage. Every performance and every night had such an impact on me in such a unique way. And a great education is supposed to help you find your reason why. The Carolina Performing Arts has not taught me knowledge, it has brought me wisdom.